Hi Karthik. Hi sir. So you had a doubt in uh, the concept of total internal reflection. So you had uh, a difficulty understanding it, right? Yes sir. So let me draw an interface. Now this is an interface of two mediums. One is a denser medium and one is rarer. So can you give me an example of uh, a combination of denser and rarer mediums? Water and air. Okay, so water is denser. So I write this is water and this rarer medium is air and this is the interface between the two. Okay, so let me draw a normal where we'll incident a ray. Okay. So this is the normal. Okay. So this is the point of incidence. So at this point of incidence, if I incident a ray at a very small angle. So for this ray of incidence, can you retrace the refracted ray? So the ray will be going something like this away from the normal, right? Perfect. Now if I increase this angle of incidence a little bit. Now for this ray, can you tell me what would be the refracted ray? So it should move further away. So it will be going like this. Okay. So it will move further away. Perfect. Yeah. So this is the way these rays would be. So do you agree that there will be an angle? Okay. A, an, an angle greater than these two for which the ray would go perpendicular to the normal. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. So do you realize this? So this would be the case of the critical angle. Okay. So this angle is known as critical angle and this ray is known as the grazing ray. Okay. So this is that case of critical incidence and grazing emergence. So this is the critical incident ray and this is the grazing ray. Now, now comes the most important part. For example, now if I have a ray which is making an angle greater than the critical angle. For example, this is my ray. This is that ray for which uh, my angle is greater than critical angle. This is greater than critical angle. So for this ray, can you tell me what, what should happen? I don't think any refraction will be happening because it won't be able to enter the other medium. Very good, very good. So you understand that it will not be entering the air, right? Yes, sir. So it will stay in the denser medium itself. Yes, sir. So what do you think is this? I think since it this is staying in a single medium, it should be reflection. So that is known as total internal reflection. So this ray will follow the, the, the reflected ray will not follow the law of refraction. It will follow the law of reflection. Okay. So this will be the ray. It will follow the law of reflection in such a way so, such that this angle of incidence should be equal to this angle of reflection. This simple phenomena is known as total internal reflection. Okay. Sir. Now will the, with the help of an image that I'm going to upload next, we will try to understand how uh, how we can analyze these three cases in a much better way. So Karthik, can you see this image that I have uploaded? Yes sir, I can see the image. Okay, so now in this image you explain to me that when this angle is less than critical angle, what is happening? The light ray is undergoing refraction sir. Okay, from a denser medium to a rarer medium and bending away from the normal, right? Yes sir. Now explain, explain it to me that what happens in this case when angle of incidence is equal to the critical angle. So here the light ray is grazing the surface which means it's yes. making 90 degrees with yes. the normal. Okay, yes. great. Yeah. So this is the case of critical incidence. Yes, sir. Now if you exceed the critical angle, what happens? It will undergo total internal reflection. Exactly. So this is the case of total internal reflection and it all only happens from a denser to a rarer medium when the angle of incidence is greater than critical angle. Very nice.